September 17, 2021. A quick video to go. This video, first of all, because I think it's just important to record one. Because of too many normal people, too many normal people feeling bad about themselves. I think the pool of clowns that Imperial British as well as American system which they created have clouded reality, the perception to us normal human beings on how we should view life as. And so I feel it's really important to create one. You understand? I know I'm not the only person uh, but it's one that took off. It's one they didn't get. It's one they will never get. It's one that left the madness. Left one behind. It's not what I'm about to read to you right now. What I came for when I immigrated to the US in 1995. In search for a better life. It's something I am going to compliment my complaint with. This is a true about Southern Poverty Law Center. Yeah, uh, the entire group, the entire crew of the Southern Poverty Law Center, everybody, all these people that you see here, everything, everybody. Uh, this man here, what is it says here? That president plans to exit in a turmoil. He was heavily involved in it. This guy was heavily involved in it. What's this? Richard Cohen. Yeah, all these guys, uh, All these guys were involved in it. Uh, this guy is named D. But of course, Mark Potok. And so on and so forth. Um, this is the um, organization, government-funded organization, which is pursuing uh, preventing hate groups uh, from spreading throughout the U.S. In a way, I believe that they're doing good. I do. I think that it is important uh, to keep harassment, intolerance, that kind of stuff. Um, now, this is a kind of thing, right? But intolerance, now, you know, whichever country, uh, for the sake of equality, for the sake of justice, for better, for the sake of better society, I, I think that's a important thing, and I, I feel that every member of the society, whatever you are. Uh, should feel the importance of what should otherwise present a company like Southern Poverty Center to the degree that every individual in the society would want to demonstrate the will uh, to even work in one. That's basically how I feel about the importance of this kind of uh, organizations. However, this, organizations, uh, this organization implicated itself into something completely different. In my case, in '95 they engaged in a heavy electroshock procedures. Basically, electroshock procedures, which I would say under MKUltra, I would equal them along the FBI. That's a Federal Bureau investigation. It was on a Biscayne Boulevard. It was a state office. It's called One Stop Workforce. One Stop Workforce. That's like state employment agency where you hopefully would go look for a job whenever you're in need of one. Um, it might have even changed. I have no idea what the situation now is in the U.S. The last time in Florida I was, it was uh, in 2006. I see um, the logo of the company, of this state company changed. Yeah. But let's see what that looked like. Um... It really matters not, okay? There was a, along the Biscayne Boulevard in Miami, <clears throat> where you could go to Miami downtown, where I would go, and that's where I would go to in a search for a job. But instead of that, I would fell into a pool of madness on the MKUltra. I would be brought to this very uh, building. They had other stuff inside in there, too. And uh, then they would do all kinds of procedures on me that involved, of course, heavy, heavy, heavy electroshock. These are not therapies. This was this equals basically like you would take a brick and you would take a hammer and you would start to hammer that brick procedures. Drugged up uh, and trained like a German shepherd basically 
to provide certain responses, if you want to call this as answers, to provocations evoked by a black crew they would use. Black, Hispanic, therefore like a minority crew. Uh, responses which would then translate into whatever the system desired to obtain from me. Um, it's amazing what I learned from at this location along the Biscayne Boulevard, uh, thanks to Southern Poverty Law Center, Mark Potok, uh, and others on what just can be done with a human being uh, to destroy one, to have one destroy itself. It's amazing. But this was like, this was like more like um, really, what you refer to as a construction work, um, it, it had nothing to do with the intellect. It was so, so, uh, I'm not going to say undermining, but so primitive that you would encounter something like this only perhaps in Auschwitz or some other concentration camp the prisoners have encountered something like this because it was done so with such a insensitivity with so much violence basically just as i described uh and so because of technology of lies in which black hollywood black world of sport and from wealthy from all the backgrounds basically a clowns like this i did this here just to see what exactly does the u.s government which acts completely on behalf of charles imperialism they take the orders basically from one what exactly it takes for one clown to be used by the mainstream media so that he can get attention so that you can see when you can read the news uh so that he can be used to cover the reality because this is what mainstream news mainstream media does they create a variety of what you see here, 20, 40, 100, 200, some even more million word clowns, and they use them, then you would go to, let's say, some random website, mainstream media website, and that's where you would get the chance to nothing but see the news as being obviously used to cover up reality, and so that we can live in some kind of labyrinth of light, basically, steered in a certain direction uh they want us to pursue one as a reality basically i didn't come to the u.s for this it was not why i came to the united states of america for i wasn't i didn't come to the united states in a search for hatred uh i didn't come to the united states to contract some kind of problems and bring these problems from the u.s back home that was not why i came to the united states I went to the U.S. just like some of my ancestors did, basically in a search for better life. Definitely I did not go to the U.S. to search for racial prejudice, um, problems, hatred, which I encountered there. I ended here with, um, with a paragraph and where I remind what every one of us knows in respect to hatred and this isn't about you know even racial division that much this is about second actually first okay what you see here is a second yeah this is a second to what I primarily see Black Lives Matter's movement as with a number one agenda and that's basically to a rotten to the core ethics implemented through the violent world of lies meaning that you have no integrity you don't know any limits when it comes to how or what uh, you're willing to commit yourself to lies to the degree I believe in this case I'm an individual but I believe that in your case it would make no difference whether it's for the individual or for the nation so we live in a whole fucking world which is totally totally contrary you know totally totally contrary to as I stated goals our grandparents have fought for during the second world war when confronting a neo-nazi machinery machine 
Yeah, you definitely are with this kind of tactics. Which Imperials from London use. And you know, Imperials, Imperial, that's about a slavery, that's about enslavement. That's about financing the one who financed Hitler to kind of stuff. It's about extermination agenda. During the Second World War, this extermination agenda was within the reach. Then somehow got away with it because it lost war against the free humanity. And so they tried to get one as much as possible again on a visible horizon. During the World War II, I will repeat to you the extermination agenda for the last time. As realistic as that was possible, it possibly could be for one, was for the last time within the reach on a horizon, on a visible horizon, and it got lost after World War II. And so, for those who crave for one, yeah, for those who crave for one, and I did mention exactly who craves for one, they implemented a totally different approach toward this agenda. Right here I have mentioned the name Naomi Campbell. You see? Naomi Campbell. Naomi Campbell It says right here, was in Slovenia in 2006. Well, Naomi Campbell, a British model. A designee of Charles appeared in Slovenia, but not once only. She appeared on uh, several occasions in Slovenia for the last time in 2006. Marriage with me, forced marriage with me, also would not go through. On which occasion in 2006, she scared the shit, literally scared literally scared the shit out of Slovenian parliamentarians. because of um, not as she anticipated she would uh, you know um, behave so insanely that she would um, she expected she would scare actually with her influence but that, that's basically what Charles created that's what US the imperial polity created in Hollywood, they would say let's say because I'm going to go next to I'm going to go to what is Gabriel Union here and I really don't care what's worth, what she is worth, um, what is this even, okay, it's here. She is, not she, but uh, the clowns that we see on a mainstream media, they're being used to cover up the news, as I stated. That's what they're worth. And then you would go to, like, some random mainstream media site, like, this here and then what they would do is but basically they would go and they would cloud they would cluster the news with this uh, well a cluster perception about reality with this hollywood sport people they create clowns and that's what more and more reality looks like now they have a decent number of this clowns they use 
but this clown in particular is worth to me more than just a regular one. In a little bit I'm gonna come to her, but I wanna go back to Nomi Campbell that appeared in Slovenia. And she anticipated would scare the shit out of Slovenian parliamentarians with her uh, racial claims against me with all kinds of what later became also Serena Williams statements against me and just how bad person I am and so on um, I have not seen this one maybe even momentum I don't know she went with this guy or something like that because as I stated they were in bed with one another talking about the black lives matters movement and Vladimir Putin you see the one who improved impression about my being racist in respect to Naomi Campbell because I rejected her was Vladislav Doronin, that's a, another Putin tool who claimed me improved, I was lambasted by the KGBs about my being racist, now I don't know what the fuck also by the Slovenians, parliamentarians in Slovenia, on how he improved the perception about the Slavs by going in relation with me that later on, on the side, he gestured me that it was really helpful actually to use her to get connections on the other side of the channel and get into the world of business and so on. Uh, on what he basically sidelined it her. I, I don't actually have nothing personal against Naomi Campbell, but she's a tool and knowingly a murderer's tool in the hands of imperialists from London, from Washington DC, supporters of imperialism. And that's a real problem, you must agree scared Slovenian parliamentarians not because of uh, what she anticipated would be because you know we live in the world of this media mainstream media which is constantly engaging in racial discussions hatred involving human rights issues racism issues uh, and is already just something just as I described earlier, Southern Poverty Law Center developed on me through use of electroshocks next to FBI. Completely understandable from our point of view, from what they refer to as, that's another racist tool of London. Uh, they refer to this thing as uh, a, a, a guilt, a white guilt, you know? Uh, from the perception of the mainstream media already, even if you have nothing to do with it, already you act like on a reflex with sort of white guilt, is what they refer to as a white guilt. In reality, it's a subconscious brainwash that is being done through the mainstream media because you listen to shit on a daily basis. I mentioned here Trisha Goddard that was involved in the case. Craig Cobb was involved in the case. What also makes it questionable whether this guy is actually a real, what they refer to now as white nationalist rather than a Nazi. Because they target Eastern European uh, folklore they target our customs they target our language they would like to remove that's what london would love nothing more that's why it said fascism nazism 
tragedies that they are trying to spill across the borders onto other continents, onto other areas of the world, destroy, wipe out nations, basically, through the world of lies, through the blame and shame that they cannot even prove in a real world. And it's why they're using NK Ultra procedures. You understand me now where the whole thing is, where I'm coming from. So it's important to understand this issue uh, because it affects, dear Secretary of United Nations, this issue affects and United Nations. This issue affects way too many normal people and it's this very issue that kills, murders the core principle of the United Nations itself which committed itself to fight any kind of intolerance and prejudice which helped create Nazism, basically Hitler during the World War II. Now, she did not scare the Slovenian parliamentarians because of what I stated. Even that is anticipated for us to act through hypocrisy sympathetically with a movement such as Black Lives Matter so that we can visually distance ourselves from people like Hrikov, from people like David Duke, and so on and so forth, from uh, what appears itself in our society as, um, you know, intolerable, hateful, uh, evoking, invoking um, dark past from the World War II. But she did shock them and she was recorded, she was well video recorded, everything, in respect to her conduct, to her principles, when implying this hypocrisy, lying technology, that's like, a guy's a fucking racist, he doesn't matter, he's a, this is the worst guy, he, he implied to marriage, you understand, this is where the world of lies just basically this black lies matter just basically overwhelmingly landed, actually crossed from the media world, from what imperial politics anticipates from us. That's, as I explained, anywhere from hypocrisy uh, to already believes that something is wrong with this, with us, uh, through this white guilt, through this white guilt, into a completely delusional, mentally ill state of mind. That's what actually scared the Slovenian parliamentarians. Now, that's a case with Naomi Campbell, but when it comes to Black Lives Matters, when it comes to Mike Tyson, when it comes to Don King, when it comes to Holyfield, when it comes to Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, when it comes to the whole palette of this artificially created sport people, NBA, US, um, you know, American football, Hollywood, all this stuff, this bing, bong, bam, bam. World, as I stated, where I was repeatedly, repeatedly, during the torture, during the torture, during the setups, which they would justify then with the torture, with the electroshocks, with all kinds of accusations, brainwash, uh, de-dignifying procedures. Um, and I did this so well in this paragraph here. You know, black stars in U.S., claimed against me under MK Ultra racial prejudice against them and at the same time pointed me out their economic supremacy yeah based on which they wanted me to be 
to see myself basically to be compared to compare myself to them to be seen as shit as a nobody basically next to other issues all kinds of issues how they're physically more uh you know developed in every sense and so on and how i have to accept this and and so on and for not even accepting the marriage that i'm what kind of shit i am racist and i don't know what and stuff like this man um when i consider all these hateful tactics um knowing what exactly they were doing they were doing this knowingly they were engaging in a tactics that are beyond beyond unethical you know just as i compare this to the ad of hitler um i i don't know i don't know it's 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 where imperialism on one side is fascism joins basically hands with those that one tried to exterminate from the past for the sake of what I pointed out a little earlier, new horizons, you know. Remember when I said that the extermination agenda during the World War II somehow escaped them from their hands during the World War II as they lost the war? Well, and then you have a big bloom and plume, and then you have this kind of stuff. Dear Secretary of the United Nations, United Nations, please to consider, stated here, it's not okay to murder people through the prejudice, through the racial prejudice, disallowing people the right to their heritage, the right to their culture, the right to their customs. And I don't even care because that's not what I came for to United States. I was the one who decided the United States. What I implied implies to the Eastern Europe. But more than anything, a normal life. You know, I did try. I actually proposed at least two black females in the United States I wanted to marry. So it's more than anything about denormalizing what is known as normal. Dear United Nations, you will have to consider this complaint as the most serious complaint. Because it's this movement, it's this people, it's this clouds that are being used to overthrow the whole world. Everything in this world that stands for word normal. Dear United Nations, it's not about this people here only. It's not about the famous match Tyson Holyfield told me if I'm going to promote their rights if I'm going to campaign for them if in other words I'm going to lobby for them they will dedicate the fight the financial outcome of the fight as a contribution to my case therefore as a donation it's about the people that promote this people therefore imperials it's about the people that this people therefore the imperials have used the struggle for survival from the past when Africa was colonized to have obligated themselves to the world of lice, torture, the most murderous procedures, knowingly, knowing very well, 
I would be uh, financially blocked. All donation accounts from PayPal to other forms of donations were financially blocked. I was blacklisted, not only on employment market, the right to work, but they blocked me literally the PayPal, every forms, and I've attempted to use, as I stated, a variety of tactics which on which through which they would apologize their collaboration as I stated earlier with imperialism as I stated this is the most obnoxious the most disgusting the most outrageous everything our grandfathers grandmothers have fought against during the World War II collaboration cooperation coexistence if you the like in the history of the world of the humankind they did not restrain itself only on a PayPal accounts blocking me from anyone approaching me donations it's a procedure that deprived me of 27 years of life but which led straight into the financing of the genocide against me and I did point it out all the way to the world of purchasing a vehicle destroying vandalizing my private room in Slovenia of my parents after I left United States for good for the last time in 2009 this is eventually about apologizing the world of black racism extremism based upon the monies a Buckingham Palace paid to the Polish state to the Czech state to the Slovenian state since I indefinitely rejected Russian and Serbian aggression occupation genocide to the degree that they would break through the psychiatric persecution for forcing me through the psychiatric persecution into my breaking myself a spine literally through the work completely unethical working procedures everything that is written in the book about the proper work procedures was used in Poland as to be violated as a total violation as a derision with a goal for me to break me a spine after I was tortured in Poland for no less than 27 years they would bring me for the physical and mental torture to Poland and would not stop short of even gesturing on how they have a cure because this is how this video came to life for the last four years I suffered from a cancer poisoning heavy cancer poisoning cashing myself through the energy issues creating these videos and providing through it all as they stated me it's going to be a cure for cancer in the same form as they have provided under MK Ultra and I was subjected to MK Ultra to situations in which they proved to the government their ability to sack criminals and they would use me through this money game they talked about the money to lure the criminals around me and then they basically through the eavesdropping they tracing them and they suck them it's a conscience whether that be a black conscience or the one from imperial or imperial with a black 
that does not differ from each other, not even a little bit. It is the most hateful conscience that ever existed in the history of the world, in this case, provenly coexisting with one another in a perfect harmony, destabilizing the world to the worst, decimating the world into a total slum. Dear United Nations, and I'm still not going to end, I'm going to use this woman here. Her name is, again, Gabriel Union, who says that was threatened by the neo-Nazis in Croatia during 2009. She had me inside of the house with her husband because it was the Polish government that hijacked me from the Polish, what appears to be Polish immigration system, and have brought me to United States of America, amongst others. I was brought there. And it was a time when I really heavily campaigned for the Black Lives Matter during Donald Trump's presidency. So just that you know, you go over my website and you're going to see nothing other than protection for the black people. Whichever time, whenever I could possibly, whatever I possibly could do, uh, I did. Had me inside of her house and gestured me that she, however, and her husband did not commit it against me anything bad, and they would actually, that I should write about this stuff, so they would come forward uh, and confirm how, in fact, it was a very uncool stuff done in Hollywood against me, this and that. What Polish government uh, gestured me, I actually anticipated it as an, uh, even as a form of what I would see as a help. Uh, hijacked me, abducted me, uh, took me to the US. There were two abductions of the Polish government. when in Poland from 2018 to 2020. I know I actually don't have the words uh, about this uh, bestial country, uh, the way they see things is, I don't, I don't understand anything. I know that, that I was tortured there for 27 years and I know that there is no, that this, this, is, this is a bestial country. That's what I think. I think they're bestial as anything possibly could be bestial. Um, I don't know anything about people that would give somebody like this a second chance being fucked uh, to the degree they would break them spine uh, and use a political asylum place to hurt them more and after breaking one spine come up with a false even rentgen pictures uh, I don't know anything about anything about the stuff like this poison person uh, uh, break person everything so with a broken spine he would carry on backpack and stuff like that. Poland is something else um, I don't know anything about this kind of conscience. I don't know. I don't understand anything whoever thought what. Uh, they literally loaded me on a plane, took me to United States of America, also was inside of the house. I should know how to describe the house from inside. Uh, it's where I was in Gabriel's Union house. Uh, then brought me to Croatia. It was uh, briefly that I went to the US, brought them to Croatia uh, and walked down the streets uh, and before 
I was brought to Croatia instructing the US by Gabriel that uh, she's gonna help and this and that like uh, like uh, like you know like quietly uh, fuck this seriously this is completely unethical this is bizarre this is insane uh, it's a derogatory for any human dignity this kind of behavior for somebody that would lost like I did 27 years of life that was deprived that was murdered basically that would settle for some kind of stuff like this but this is um, like I said I don't know anything about this kind of stuff uh, I don't understand uh, any kind of uh, should say refuse to lower myself less than a crippled animal like they did with me I refuse I refuse to be a crippled on a level of a crippled animal that is self delusional for the sake of the one who did this shit to one that would be so obnoxiously crazy that would believe into this kind of Londonian royal uh, world of delusions violence like this I refuse this kind of stuff well for me next to Mike Tyson Don King this is people for whom I feel they exercised against me unprecedented hatred a proof that the blacks in the United States of America very very were very consciously very much aware about the crime they committed against me because of whom I lost 27 years black conscience will never wash from their hands no wait for the crime they committed for the sake of money for the sake of self profiteering that literally went beyond beyond the crime white slave traders committed against them I am disgusted with this kind of conscience with knowingly anticipating an individual who tried who came to the United States to pursue a normal way of life playing eventually with his work habits life habits the right to work even as a citizen in the United States of America and have collaborated against his Slovenian nation with the Serbs, with the Russians, have basically waged war against the Eastern Europe. Disregarding the interests of those they fought for freedom against in the past that is again imperials from London who finance these operations dear United Nations I hope you will take the proper step in respect to both that's about the black racist issues involved in my case as well as against imperials in London the United States of America which supports American deep state which supports greatly this imperialist agenda and do the right thing in this case condemn them just as you condemned the crimes of Nazis during the World War II thanks for watching and this video no Gabriel Union and your husband uh, you are not going to be saving anybody a 
and nor will any one of your blocked consciences for the crime you committed here and this is atrocity that will stay on your hands I think for as long as this world would exist because we'll not go into these issues. Dear Secretary of the United Nations, or the one that will replace you, United Nations, Organization of the United Nations, I am asking you to please act urgently in this case and do for me whatever you can as fast as possible because timing here in this case is of crucial importance they did compel me to sleep on the floor to be financially completely broke with what they gestured um, I suppose would add unto the value of black conscience because that's what they anticipated they anticipated along the British Buckingham Palace from one side for a black conscience to eventually set me free and on the other hand through London through the Royals British Royals uh, provide me with very much needed cancer cure medication therefore they brag about how they have one these days and so on and so forth I am asking you to act I'm not gonna say with a prejudice but I'm gonna say with exactly the same tools with exactly what otherwise you did not have during the World War II as it was taken away from you but with instruments in post-World War II period you have used against extremism whenever you inducted one whenever you acted against one against with uh, using again exactly the same tools anywhere from law enforcement as a primary state prosecutors law enforcement actually state prosecution federal prosecutions uh, prosecutors all the way to law enforcement to get this job done because of not only myself as I stated the conscience like this does not have limits it's actually limited to destruction of entire worlds it's not about one person it's not about even one nation it's about the whole world they have taken for a ride. Thanks for watching this video till next time. Yeah, but this stuff is just uh, repeating. And you know what I'm going to do during recording of this video? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to start to uh, record this kind of stuff too. You can see here, you see, that actually is demonstrating me as it is still recording. You see this? Uh, but in reality, it's not. Now, you can still see this red mark down below. You can see it. Uh, in reality, it's not. And then you go like this, and you get this kind of message. OBS Studio has even stopped working like this. Close the program. Uh, notify me when solution is available. So, um, yeah, this is just uh, more and more ingenuine. And, yeah, this is, this is about exactly about Naomi Campbell and Black Lives Matter, the video I am recording right now. And here is the date and time so that, yeah, this is really the deal. We'll continue to record. And you can see the time of the recording. Hopefully, I will get the clip anyway out somehow. Uh, you're going to see one here when you watch this video. It should appear. So, that's how this stuff is being done. Okay, that's not nice. Uh, let's try again. Uh, it wasn't easy, uh, but I did fix this video somehow anyways. Uh, after going sometimes through whatever the internet had to offer me. Really, I have to tell you, not an easy procedure to repeat otherwise 
the video, they screw you up. It just happens just so that they really screw the things up when they, they screw them up. I just want you to see the uh, example of a video repair. How that goes. It used to be a pause button they would use ongoingly and basically it's now this kind of issue that is being used in this program uh, therefore upgraded from and the pausing option the same thing the same thing happened and i'm not gonna go over i had few others i had few others options i have used uh, what i did was i closed them down and finally i decided i said to myself you know what i said let's go and let's also record this stuff, why not? It also failed here. So, it doesn't matter. It's okay. The video is being repaired. You have seen one at the beginning of the video. That's all I wanted to say. Today is daytime.